find CP first one if SP is rupees 900 and loss is 10 percent second one if SP is rupees 170 and loss is 15 percent first one if SP is rupees 900 and loss is 10 percent write the given values SP is equal to rupees 900 loss is equal to 10 percent we have to find the CP. SP means selling price. CP means cost price. When SP and loss percent are given, we can find the CP using the formula. CP is equal to SP into 100 by 100 minus loss percent. Substitute the given values in this formula to find CP. That is equal to 900 into 100 by 100 minus 10. SP is rupees 900. Loss is 10 percent. 100 minus 10 is 90. So we can write this as 900 into 100 by 90. Let us simplify this in the rough work. Common factor of 900 and 90 is 90. Divide both of them with common factor. When we divide 900 with 90, we get 10. When we divide 90 with 90, we get 1. The values left are 10 into 100 by 1, which is equal to 1000. So CP is equal to rupees 1000. Next one, if SP is rupees 170 and loss is 15 percent, write the given values. SP is equal to rupees 170, loss is equal to 15 percent. We have to find the CP. SP means selling price, CP means cost price. When SP and loss percent are given, we can find the CP using the formula. CP is equal to SP into 100 by 100 minus loss percent. Substitute the given values in this formula to find CP. That is equal to 170 into 100 by 100 minus 15. SP is rupees 170. Loss is 15 percent. 100 minus 15 is equal to 85. So we can write this as 170 into 100 by 85. Let us simplify this in the rough work. Common factor of 170 and 85 is 85. Divide both of them with common factor. When we divide 170 with 85, we get 2. When we divide 85 with 85, we get 1. The values left are 2 into 100 by 1, which is equal to 200. So, CP is equal to rupees 200. 